Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for January 24th, 2022. AngelSouls444.com for personal readings and if you want to check out the Archangel Ariel Meditation Challenge along with lots of other meditation challenges with various Archangels, gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Let us see what we have. What do we have? We have... Ooh, new beginnings. Now, if you watch the weekly, the whole weekly is like a message of enough, okay? Enough of allowing ourselves to be manipulated, enough of being in this toxic space. And even as we talk about not allowing ourselves to be manipulated, look at how people have handled that. They've handled it by fighting. Thanks for nothing, okay? Maybe go back to the drawing board and figure out a better way, <laughs> right? We need to heal ourselves. We need to heal what our triggers are. So we have New Beginnings, Archangel Jeremiah. Archangel Jeremiah is all about life review. And, you know, he's thought to help you review your soul's path and all the lessons that you learned here once you cross over to the other side. But Jeremiah can help you be more aware, like just a stop point to look at your life and go, okay, why have I self-sabotaged or why have I allowed myself to be abused or am I being abusive to other people? Am I gaslighting people constantly? Am I always diminishing them? Am I throwing my pain on to other people? You know, whatever it is, being aware of that and taking a moment to admit some hard truth, okay? So this says, and once we do that, we get this. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. We were also talking about how you know, I mean, I guess we have to limit our expectations. I, I said like maybe a healthy gauge of who you allow into your life. If someone has harmed you and you might already know, no, that person is just a, a psychopath or, you know, a sociopath or whatever. And I just stay away from them. Great. So at least you know that. But I feel like where it gets tricky is where someone is you know, we feel that there's a good person in there, but they have some toxic behavior and that toxic behavior has affected someone negatively. A healthy minded person is going to, if it's brought to their attention, not everybody realizes what they're doing, right? Maybe we're not always self-aware, but once they are aware, they'll say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that happened to you. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause that for you. They'll work on it with you. A self-centered you know, whatever kind of person, a toxic person is going to stick their nose up in the air or pretend like it didn't happen or blame you, turn around on you, scapegoat you, gaslight you, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so we're breaking out of this pattern and try to have some awareness around this. So as we go forward, we are choosing healthier dynamics because what essentially will, will happen when we start interacting with each other in a healthier way, those energies are coming together and they're amplifying. So right now, we are in uh, an energetic world space where it's like toxic facade, toxic facade, lots of toxic energy, like this distortion. We aren't in beautiful harmony with one another. We're at each other's throats. And even people say, well, that's my, my spouse. Um, a lot of people think of their spouse as their enemy or they are making derogatory comments about their spouse, so on and so on. Okay. So let's have a new beginning around this. Um, it's got to start deep. It can't be about surface level. I mean, you might say, well, no, I got a new beginning because I got a job opportunity. It doesn't end there. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be teaching you something and be aware of that. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.